On your left hand side you have an Electron, on the right hand side you have a Falcon 1, and the two of them are going to get fired up and going to be on their way to orbit because today we are doing a race video in Kerbal Space Program to see which of these two rockets will be able to successfully build a micro space station the quickest. Yes, both these other guys are going to be going on three separate launches, each building the identical space station. Uh, the first launch is going to be the power module, the second launch is going to be the logistics module, and then the third launch is going to be the crew module. So, we have the Falcon 1 on the right hand side, obviously, which is SpaceX's very first vehicle that flew four times and crashed three times, but that's irrelevant. And on the left hand side, we have Rocket Lab's Electron, which is everyone's favorite small sat launch vehicle that is... Yeah, a pretty cool rocket. So, uh, the bottom stage of the Falcon 1 has separated and is going to fire up its Kestrel engine to get its way into orbit while the Electron has just defeated its bottom stage and is now firing up its upper stage to get going. It looks like the Falcon 1 has a, in a little bit of an advantage as the Falcon 1 crosses 50 kilometers at just about 2 kilometers per second as the Electron is still down at 1600 meters a second. So, it has a lot of a lot of accelerating to do that sounded weird but either way uh the uh, wow falcon one already has its apple app set and is going to try and circularize and just going to get ready to deploy its payload as quickly as possible into a low carbon orbit as you can see micro space station is very micro this the, the, it was that it was actually super hard to fit these these modules into the fairings because these rockets because oh my these are small um so, uh, Falcon 1 is going to light up its engine again to circularize into an orbit and is going to get ready to deploy the payload. It looks like the Falcon 1 is in a little bit of a lead. OMG, and... Payload deploy! Alright, Falcon 1 is for sure in the lead. Is it going to fire up its engine and get ready for the second launch? But Electron is not far behind it. It is back in the air as well after deploying its first payload. But now they're going to be launching the logistics module. So, the logistics module in my little head cannon does a few things. It has, like, storage reaction wheels and crap for orientation so it's like a you control this thing and it, i don't know the the purples do science experiments there we're awesome um so the falco one is looking like it is going to take the lead once again because its bottom stage does have a little bit better of a thrust to weight ratio the only downside is the fact that the bottom stage burns a little bit less long on the Falcon 1, which means the Electron has a little bit of time to catch up using its high power bottom stage while the Falcon 1 is firing its slightly lower thrust upper stage. Um, but it uh, looks like the Falcon 1 does have a little bit of a lead in the launch category. The uh, extra Electron really just has to hope to do some faster rendezvous to catch up with the Falcon 1 as it is going to get ready to uh, deploy its fairing here in just a moment. There we go, both fairings are deployed and you can see the, the logistics module right there. I would like to quickly, OMG guys, plugs, epic plugs, subscribe, get close to 10k subs, please. You guys are all awesome. Thank you everyone who has, you guys, epic. Thank you all for 10k, is pretty crazy. Um, also, thank you all the members and stuff and all the, you can hit the join button, awesome, and Patreon and video, right? Video, also have a Discord server, pretty epic. Um, so, yeah, it looks like Falcon 1 is just about to begin its rendezvous with the, uh, with the, I, I would hardly call it the module space station, but, uh, it's about to, well, make a space station, right? So, Electron really has to, come on, get, get about moving, man. Um, it is gonna have to really try and go for a little bit less, so the Electron actually has a little bit, a little bit more reserve fuel on most of these launches, uh, compared to the Falcon 1, so it actually can do a little bit less efficient of a rendezvous. Um, so we can try and go a little bit more for speed as it is going to start closing in on the target as the Falcon 1 has arrived at the power module and is going to jettison its payload which is going to then uh, fly its way over using the lone's lazy messes of docking. Very, very cool, very, very cool. As the Electron is not that far behind it, it's starting to pick up a little bit of ground and it is also time warping past the target that's supposed to happen. And there we go. It looks like the Electron is getting ready to deploy its payload. And there it goes. It is going to try and power its way over as the Falcon 1's payload is just about ready to dock up with the power module. Yes, much epic. And here comes Electron's payload. Very, very close. Very, very close. If you ever do get kind of plus, because these are the exact same space stations, um, the, the, the Electron station, which is on the left-hand side, uh, has, has three solar panels and the of the Falcon 1 had four so that Hey, by the way, it's docked! Yo! Falcon 1 docked! Oh, and Electron also docked! Oh, geez, so they're gonna quickly deploy their, um... Solar panels looks like Falcon 1's got that done first, and now Falcon 1's going to move on to the last launch, the crew module, which is 
This is very cramped. Well, um, but Electron is not far behind it. It is it just released its launch clamps and is back in the air now. Falcon 1 using its higher thrust to its advantage as it is taking the lead over the Electron as it crosses around 2 kilometers. Electron is still down at 1 kilometer in altitude. Falcon 1 is starting its gravity turn now. Electron is as well, but it's still a little bit behind. It really needs to hope it can catch up using its faster rendezvous or maybe a faster rendezvous. I don't know. Skill. Falcon 1 has just about ready to throttle back up through max Q as it crosses 10 kilometers now as it continues on its way to orbit. Do you notice actually, by the way, fun fact, I'm completely spot topic, but Falcon 1, if you look at the fairing, it actually like narrows up a little bit before the fairing. I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't know, research, right? It actually, the, the second stage actually narrows it. I, I didn't know that. Cool, epic. I don't know, fun fact of the day, right? But by the way, Falcon 1 bottom stage has been jettisoned and now the upper stage is going to ignite and power it up to orbit, yay. Falcon 1 is definitely in a little bit of a lead here, but Electron is not that far behind it. It is getting ready to jettison its bottom stage. There it goes. The upper stage is now firing, and now it is just the two upper stages trying to fight to see who can get the, the peace. Yes, peace. I know words. Rendezvous the quick. I'm the best commentator, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while since we did these races we did. These are quite fun. These are, disclaimer, these are not, these are not supposed to be, like, legit, like, OMG, guys, Falcon 1 is technically better than Electron because it's, fat. no, isn't it, and entertainment purposes, right, because entertainment is fun, I like entertainment, um, that's why I watch TV 8 hours a day, no, just kidding, well, I don't do that, um, I mean, I watch, imagine watching TV, I mean, who actually does that anymore, you know, it's like, gotta get that, net, that Netflix and chill, man, right, ha, 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 um, I'm really, um, boomer, right, um, either way, <laughs> back to the race video. Uh, so the Falcon 1 is, uh, Falcon 1 is, wow, it's already starting its rendezvous. going to start its maneuver node. I did kind of launch at kind of a weird time, so it has to do a little bit of extra rendezvousing. So, uh, the Electron has this opportunity to catch up, but it is still really chugging along. Just crossed two kilometers a second, and there it is. This is, uh, the heaviest payload, so Electron did kind of struggle a little bit. But, uh, I've also forgot to j uh, open the fa Falcon 1 fairing, so that's, uh, that's a thing. Um, but as you can see, the Electron fairing is open up. You can see it is very, very small, so it actually, I'm actually quite gimmicked, right? This thing, this, uh, crew module actually doubles as an escape pod, so there's those little Sepatrons that you can fire, which will kind of escape you from the station so yeah pretty cramped station probably one kerbal probably all they could fit to be pretty lonely up there but yeah i don't know for science right i don't know maybe maybe some other craft will dock and say hi um so the falcon one is going to finish up its uh, maneuvers to the rendezvous as the electron is a little bit more advantageous of a launch position so it is going to arrive it looks like almost first it looks like oh Fal electron may actually be taking the lead against the falcon one. Oh my gosh guys what's the oh no we're getting Get to the end here, getting intense. Okay, so as you get into the you know, home stretch, right? So here comes Electron, which is kind of doing a weird, very inefficient rendezvous. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, Falcon 1 isn't like back and forth and burn and burn and burn. But Falcon 1 is now looking like it is starting to come back into the race. And it is now approaching the station, burning its engine and getting get ready to deploy the payload. Because we did not launch with crew, because that'd be very unsafe, because Kerbal Lives Matter, right? Um, there's actually no control of the command pod, so we have to basically dock the other station to it. So, um, it's basically just a floating piece of space stuff. Um, but it looks like Electron has deployed its payload first. It is kind of spinning there out of control. And now the Falcon 1 is going to get ready to jettison its payload in just one moment. And any second now. Come on, Falcon. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Can it? There it goes. Okay, there it goes. And... The Electron there on the left-hand side has started its rendezvous process, and so has the Falcon 1. Looks like Falcon 1 is a little bit closer, but the Electron is definitely speeding up to try and catch up as the Falcon 1 maneuvers around the bottom of the backside of the module. And so does Electron. They're getting very close to the little swing around maneuver, getting ready to do the docking very shortly. Falcon 1 on the right-hand side. They're just coming in. The Electron starts its final approach, and OMG is going to win. Oh, no. Come on. Fal oh, duh, Falcon 1. Yay! They they done wind. So there's our little micro station. That is that is very micro. <laughs> that is pretty cramped. Assuming the Kerbals can walk in those storage container things, which I'm, I'm assuming they can. So that's 
that's quite small, but uh, on screen right now is all the members. So yeah, GG to Falcon 1. Yeah, epic video. All the members want to become a member, you can hit the join button. That is very, very epic if you want to do that. You can also become a Patreon. Those guys are also epic. Thank you to all the Patreons. Um, that is going to be it for me today. So, I don't know, like button, subscribe button, good ideas. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.